And in a country where farming is the main source of livelihood, the Carabao has been a necessary part of every Filipino home. But over the years, the Carabao has been developed and has gone from a household animal to being a main source of milk and meat. And the Philippine Carabao Center has been very instrumental to this. For Kids Life, here's Martin Valdez. What comes to your mind when you hear the word Carabao? Common responses would include farming, agriculture, or rural communities. Truly, the national animal has been part and parcel of every Filipino home. In fact, most families would not have the heart to slaughter Carabaos for food. Even its milk is used sparingly. But over time, social conditions have drastically changed. Through farm mechanization, Carabaos went from being traditional draft animals to an essential and vital part of Philippine agriculture. This was even strengthened through the test of the Philippine Carabao Center by virtue of Republic Act 7307 implemented on March 27, 1992. PCC was primarily launched to develop the Carabao as a source of milk, meat, and draft. Also, PCC implements a science-based program to generate higher income levels for small hold farmers, which would lead access to better nutrition and an improved general well-being. PCC Executive Director Dr. Libertado Cruz explained that the genes of native carabaos are designed for a longer genetic program to ensure stability of the carabaos meat and dairy production and for other future use. In the gene pool, we actually put them the best of our animals. We call them the elite animals so that uh, these existing animals become the parents of our future generations. We have gene pool of the Philippine carabao uh, the native animals, because we believe that the native animals have genes that are not uh, present in the introduced breeds, so we have to keep them intact for our future use. Meanwhile, the PCC has continuously adopted and successfully employed various techniques and genetic improvement, foremost of which is artificial insemination, cryopreservation, crossbreeding, embryo transfer, and in vitro fertilization or test tube system. PCC's next step would be somatic cell nuclear transfer, or more commonly known as cloning. Dr. Esther Flores, coordinator of the Genetic Improvement Program of PCC, clarified that there is a certain analysis of which carabaos are genetically good, and from the good ones, they choose the best ones. We analyze which are the best performing cows, and then by doing that, we are also able to determine which of the bulls are actually very good. Kasi anak ko rin yan mga bulls eh. So we say na, ah, ang kaganda ng anak na itong bull na to. So we know now which are the bulls that we prioritize to distribute to farmers now. So they get the benefit of the good genetic. This advocacy is part of the high priority agenda of the agency and the Philippine government. There are currently over 3 million native carabaos, 99.9% .9 of which belongs to small holder farmers. For Kids Life on News Life, I'm Martin Valdez.